So you guys, I finally got a day that's fully cloudy as opposed to sun in and out and I decided let me shoot this video. I actually have to go to Home Depot and I really don't want to go too late because the traffic lately, crazy. But I want to do a video for you. So I thought let's do empties. I haven't done empties in a while. Full disclosure, I did shoot one about three months ago and when I was editing it a couple of weeks ago, it didn't look good, so I tossed it out. So what we're going to have in here is the last three months, but we missed the three months before that, and there's makeup in here, and skincare, and all the rest, and it's heavy. I'm gonna try to balance this on my knee. <laughs> so let's start, no particular order, I'm just grabbing, like, okay, this I keep in here by the door, and I do have some poopy bags. Marvist, I love this. So Marvis, you can no longer get at Sephora. This one is called Karoom. I, where's my magnifying glass? Karakum. And it's delicious. They came out about a year and a half ago with all these limited edition flavors and I jumped on it. In fact, upstairs in my bathroom, I have a lot just sitting there. But I'm, you know, slowly but sure going through them. I hate brushing my teeth. I find that most toothpaste kind of burn my mouth. And so my whole life, I've really not liked doing it. Pepsodent was kind of mild, I guess. And something in Colgate was kind of mild. But when I discovered the Marvis, I never looked back. And delicious flavor. This I'm throwing away because it's old. And it's almost gone. So this is from CeraVe, and it is the Skin Renewing Night Cream. It's super, super thick. And it's not something I'm going to wear every day. Well, it's not as thick as I remember, but it is super old. And it might be something that you use as an occlusive layer after you put all your hydration on. Oh, yeah, this, this needs to go in the trash. Um, but it's lovely if you're looking for skin care from the drug score that is not too expensive, because Olay, I find, is super expensive for the drug store. Take a look at this one. The Secret Key, this is a dupe for the SK2, and it's lovely. I really, really enjoy this. I do have a lot right now, so I'm not going to repurchase one just yet. I'm doing my Neogen a whole lot, but usually, I do one of the Neogen, one of this, and um, you know what? I think I am going to. I'm going to leave links below so you'll know where you can get all this stuff. You guys, I have a zip, and I'm going to be doing a review on it soon, but I went through so many of these. I don't know that I put them all in here. This is the Conductive Gel, which is stunning. I've tried a lot of machines and I've tried a lot of conductive gels and there's only one other conductive gel that I've tried and it's also recent that is actually good and doesn't take a cloth to and stripping and washing a couple of times to get off. This actually rinses off, but I'll get into it when I do my zip review. The Perian Spirit Brush Cleaner is fabulous. When Beautylish has their sale, or their points sale, I get one of these and I store it right in here and I keep a smaller one with a nozzle, with a spray nozzle, and I use it for, you know, fast cleaning. Not my beauty blender, but my brushes, and it's fabulous. I don't feel that it hurts your brushes like some do. I decided to toss this, a soft glam. It is super old, super, super old, and I used it the other day, and it wasn't performing all that well. You know, shadows these days have more, I don't know, dimethicones or something in them that does go bad, where back in the day, shadows were pretty much dull, and they don't go bad. So this is going. The Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46 Universal Tint. I'm not sh sure which one this is. Okay, so this is the hybrid. It's uh, both mineral and not mineral. And finish that. Uh, 
I'm gonna finally throw this away, you guys. Life is too short and space is too limited to keep things that don't work for you. And this does not work for me. It was such a disappointment. I really tried. And if you look at my reviews, you can see I'm really trying to make it work. But when Lisa says one, one pump, and look how small that pump is, it's going to your whole face. I'm like, what? are you talking about? Now mind you, I just put that CeraVe all over my hands, so there's a lot of slip. But even still, that one is doing this section. So I need one, two, three, four. How? Come on, how is one pump going to get all over your face? And the shade doesn't work for me, and I bought several of the cards. I even did a video, which shade is right for you? And I come to the conclusion that no shade from that brand works for me and it just it kills me because when I put it on I, I I'm like what is wrong there's something wrong I don't know what it is but it, it is not working for me and I think it's the combination of the formula and the colors uh, the Neogen this I have repurchased this to me is a dupe for the Estee Lauder Micro Essence, which is about 100 bucks. This is about 38 bucks, so more than half, and I love that. The Firmits are very good for your skin. Another Marvis, and this is in Rhombus. Love them all. I can't say, oh, I love this one more than that one. Love them all. Another sunscreen from Dermatology. This is the new packaging, Universal Tinted Moisturizer 46, and it's the same thing as this one. Old packaging, new packaging, and I'm throwing this away because it's old. <laughs> you need to look at your expirations. Uh, this is going to expire in a month, in June of 2023, and I had it stored in there and I didn't realize it, and I thought, nope, nope. What I like to do is go through my sunscreens the first of the year and mid-year, and the things that are coming up to their expiration, kind of move them up front. Most of my sunscreens I go through pretty quickly, but definitely go through your sunscreens twice a year. I don't think things expire, you know, June 1st, it's done, but I think it's degrading in its value, how much it can protect you. And, you know, I have in the past had a sunscreen I really, really love and I didn't want to throw it out. And I wore it for another month past that, but, I'm not saying you should. My Tatcha Cleansing Oil, love more than anything. I've spoken about this numerous times. I use it to clean my face and to massage my face. It has a thickness to it, but a lot of slip at the same time. So it has a cushiness and it doesn't dry like oils. When I use oils to massage my face, the oil with the friction will kind of dry up. This doesn't do that. I love this. It's the push-up lashes in dream something and I thought I got rid of the old one but when I was using this I'm like wait a minute is this the sound this should be making but yes I think this is the old one. okay Phew. I love this I'm not wearing any mascara today actually you guys but it leaves your lashes looking very natural and fluffy and it's a brown color it has the tinge of redness in it which helps to set off blue eyes and green eyes and I'm I'm a fan and if you've been here for a while you know that I don't repurchase mascaras all that often that is the first repurchase I've done in a long time may love moonlight serum this is a retin owl a as opposed to O which are two different things retin owl is retinaldehyde and it is only one step from being converted into your skin. I said that wrong. Your Retin-A doesn't have to be converted in your skin. It's bioavailable immediately when you put it on. Retinaldehyde has to be converted in your skin once, where Retin-All has to be converted in your skin twice. Also worth noting, this is not photosensitive, so you can wear this day and night. I already bought my second bottle. Well, I mean, numerous bottles. I've been using this since it came out. So, uh, yeah, love that product because I, I do have sensitive skin and I don't use Retin-A 
every night. The Can Make Mermaid Sun Gel. I love this sunscreen. It's completely clear. It looks white, but it's completely clear when you put it on. The Augustinus Butter The Cream. This is lovely. Now, I got this a year ago, and it lasted me not as long as I would have hoped. I used it morning and night, and I would just do one pump because I wanted it to last for a long time. I do love it, but I didn't get it at the sale, and I am playing with some other things right now, so I'm not going to purchase it again in the immediate, but I did find that this, especially in conjunction with my evening, which I use the Augustinus Butter Soothing Balm, made my skin look so, so pretty that I, I do want to buy it again. It's just um, I have a couple of new things going on and I don't want to do this quite yet, but it is lovely. I don't use these. This is a... What is this? Oh, it's nude sticks. You know what? I think it has mold on it. It's really old, right? And with a crayon, you could just sharpen that and, and go down until it's gone. This is what it looks like. It's not that it doesn't look good. Boy, I gotta tell you that Lisa Eldridge Foundation really doesn't look good. Um, I'll tell you what the color is in case this is interesting to you. If I can find it, it's called Sin. It's pretty, but I, I feel like I should throw it away. There's a part of me that's like, let me just put it on to show you, and I'm thinking, why would I do that? <laughs> it's a little dangerous in the trash. These super old, you guys, super old. Look how they're separated, this red one. Very, very, very old. I didn't wear them very often. This is a very interesting, cool, kind of goth color. But I feel that I have it now. With the Chanel releases in the fall, they had a, a gothy kind of color, so this will do that for me, even though that is not a liquid lipstick. And this is probably my favorite red. It's just a fantastic red. I think it might have a teeny bit of orange. It's not a blue red, but it's not an orangey red, but if it's leaning one way to the other, it might be towards the orange. I love this formula for liquid lips. They are not uncomfortable. I love the doe foot applicator. It makes it really interesting. Ah, oh, the sun's coming out. And really specific. Uh, yeah, I adore those. Nobody talks about them anymore because, you know, they've been around for a while. There's a mascara. I have a lot of mascaras that I've bought for mascara videos, and it's okay. This is Essence, let's see, Princess. Curl and Volume Mascara. Yeah, doesn't smell good. It, it needs to go. Okay, oh, there's a little bit of love left in this one. This is the Victoria Beckham Serum, which she created in conjunction with Augustinus Mater. And I've been using this for about a year and a half now, and I love it. I generally use it morning and night, and I think it's gorgeous. Anastasia, this is not, something's leaking in here. This is not good for, <gasps> okay, I, I, I saw something drip out. I don't know where it dripped to, but this is what is leaking. <laughs> this has broken up. I was just going to show you, it's, it's thick, it's too much for somebody who is older, or even if you're not older, if you have crepey under eyes or any kind of lines, this from Anastasia is, is just not right, and it's separated, and I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on on the ground. Now this might surprise some of you guys because when I reviewed this, I loved it. It looks so beautiful on the skin, but I did note, this is the cushion from Chantecai, I said, God, it looks really, really, really warm here. And then when I put it on, I thought, well, gosh, it's not that warm. But I really think it's just the light in here. Because every other time I went to go put this on, I thought, uh, this is not good shape. I don't know. So I thought, I'm just going to get rid of it. Let me just do, when I put it on my fingers, it doesn't look that warm. Right? 
Yeah, but when I put it on my arm, it is too warm. If you can find a shade that works for you, this looks insanely beautiful on the skin. It really, really does. I put it in a place where you can't see it. Right there. Can you see that? It's too warm. Okay, my Elastin Gentle Cleanser. It took me a year and a half to go through this, and I haven't repurchased it because Refer now makes a gentle cleanser that I'm telling you, it's pretty much exactly like this. So I'm using the Refer, but this is lovely. This is the Hair Max. This was not inexpensive, you guys. And I used it. I've had it for a couple of years. And it just stopped working. When you pay about $700 for something, I think it's got to last a couple more than a couple more years. I think it should last forever, actually. $700, are you kidding? So does it work is the question. I'm not sure that it works. The second question you might have is, why are you using something like this? So let me tell you. All my life, I have had a huge amount of hair. I have a lot less than I used to. but. I have been thinning over here quite a bit and when I run my hands through I can feel that this whole area right here much thinner than it used to be and that's why I mean these don't work your entire head but I was very diligent about using that and I really don't think it works <laughs> this Lisa Eldridge is in I think it's called pink moon the Consistency of this formula is really actually pleasant. So I bought three shades and I'm keeping two of them. None of them are right for me, but the two that I kept, if I mix them together, they work. But this is what it looks like. Let me take this out of my hand. And it's a nice texture. It's comfortable on the skin. It's not too much, but that's not a good color for me. And this is the... Lancome concealer, which is lovely. When I bought it, I got 260 and I thought, no, 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 wrong shade. And then I bought 215 and I thought, well, I'll keep this for something else, like maybe on my face. And I never used it that way, even though this is practically new as far as how much product is in here, <laughs> because I honestly, I've not used it at all aside from when I first bought it. I should have returned it, but I didn't. It's, yeah, I don't have the space to keep things like that. These are the Lisa Eldridge blushes, which I don't know that she ever came out and apologized about this or even acknowledged that this was happening, but I was shooting a video, and I can't remember which one, and I'm squeezing it out, and I didn't even realize the end broke and it was getting on this hand and I was wearing these long bell sleeves and yeah I don't think she ever came out and acknowledged that there were problems with packaging and they're going back to fix it or, or anything and when I got in touch with them I said hey mine broke they did give me a refund but they never said yeah we are experiencing problems it's not just you I kept these in these uh, pots but these I got on Amazon, and the threads don't feel right. They're stackable. I kept them out here forever. I mean, these broke soon after I bought them because the colors are pretty, but I never use them. And while, honestly, I feel that they could be used, I think they're still viable. Why would I? So here's a Giorgio Armani concealer. And I got it online. I should have returned it, but they didn't have a shade that I thought would work for me. And I thought, well, maybe this will work with me. It's so thin. Maybe I will keep it. It's just too light. But take a look at this. I really like the exactness of it, but I can't imagine I can make this shade work. It's super, super light. But you are very, very fair. Take a look at this, it's in shade two. Can you imagine? I wonder what shade one looks like. This is the Cali Ray mascara that Angie made me buy. And she loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. I do not love it. Laura Mercier concealer. This was, I bought this because everybody said this is a fantastic game-changing concealer. 
and I tried it and I tried to convince myself that it is everything that everybody says, but I find that this is too drying for me. These blushes from Shiseido, very old. I'm not sure they make them anymore. They're super pretty and they're like whipped. I've had these since before I had this channel. You think maybe I should throw them away? I do. <laughs> Here's a mini of the uh, Milk Kush Mascara, which I love and I feel like, I used to get the minis all the time at Sephora for 100 points and then I finally bought the big one and I felt like the mini looked better for some reason. I know this is a thing that people have also, people other than myself have also thought, I think the minis are better for some reason. My Retin-A, bone dry. The Glow Maker from May Love, Vitamin C. I did buy, the last time I did Vitamin C, I used my points at Sephora and got the Trunk Elephant. It's almost gone and I do have another one of these. And I'm, you know, trying to really get through that drunk elephant because I don't want the new one to sit around for too long before I break into it. So I'm putting it on my chest. And that's it, you guys. That's a long one. I don't know if it's going to be long. I don't know how I'm going to edit it. But I'm probably not going to edit out too much. So, one, thanks for staying with me when I'm kind of spacey and super overwhelmed with... You should see this table. Because I didn't clean off my table. Because this is where I put on my makeup. You know, the table's never clean. I think for some people, their working space is not where they put on their makeup and it's clean. They come in and they shoot their video, they pull out the things they're going to use. Me, no. So this table is already a mess and now it is frightening, but it feels really good. It feels really good to go through this and throw all this stuff away. And if you have any questions about any of these products, the things that I don't like or the things that I do recommend, let me know down below and I will answer to my best ability. And now I gotta throw this all in the trash and get to Home Depot. <laughs> Until the next time, ciao.